Hello. Psalm 4610 says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. When entering prayer, even before the prayer's commencement, steps have already been taken. One, recognize your need. Two, read scripture addressing said need. Three, learn to pray the scriptures. Four, be still. Be quiet. Shut up! And the same, Mark 4, 35 through 41. And the same day, when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when he had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not if we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And, and he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said to one another, what manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Peace, be still. This was not a rebuke for the wind and sea, as the gospel writer believed. The storm was simply behaving as storms behave. Jesus was asleep in the stern on a pillow, when the disciples awoke him all agitatedly, he rebuked the disciples for their fear, their lack of faith. They didn't hold God to his promise to protect them. Peace, be still. Calm down, you guys. God will protect us. Psalm 4, 8 says, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. God promises here to give you the comfort required to sleep while you dwell in safety. Psalm 3, 3 says, But thou, O Lord, art, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of mine head. God is our shield. He will protect us. It is said, so it is so. Faith is recognizing the promises he makes to us in his word, and holding him accountable, expecting him to be true to his word. This was God testing the disciples to prove to them whether or not their faith is real. James 1, 3 says, Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Endurance! Anybody can claim to have faith. God himself said everybody does have faith. Romans 12, 3 say, says, For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, 
according as God had dealt to every man the measure of faith. Mark 24, 13 says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. God will test those who claim to believe in him to prove whether or not their faith is real. God will do what is necessary to strengthen your faith that you will be able to endure to the end and be saved. He will send tribulations your way to strengthen your faith that you may be able to be strong to the end, thereby assuring salvation. God wants you saved. And the same day when the event was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they, when he had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also other little ships, and there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind, said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, What manner of man is this? They in the wind and the sea obey him. Jesus was exhausted. He had been teaching all day. All he wanted was to take a nap. He gathered up his d disciples and sailed them to the other side of the lake where they could be alone. As they crossed the lake, Jesus saw that other boats were following him. This isn't what he wanted. He was trying to get away from people. God saw this and knew how to get these pursuers to abort pursuit and go home. He, took, he sent a big windstorm and Jesus took the nap he required. He had even gotten a pillow. Jesus had turned his problem with his stalkers over to God God had him prepared to take a nap like he would have done had he not been followed. He had gotten a pillow out for his nap. Had the nap been unpremeditated, he would have been lying on a carpet using his arms as a pillow. Peace be still. People mistakenly believe that getting all wound up over-emotional and fearful will motivate God to answer their prayers. This is not the case. When praying, relax as you come to God. This shows Him that ye have faith. You believe where He promises to protect you. Psalm 3, 3 But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of mine head. When in life you are exhausted and need to be still, trust God to get you to a place where you can take a nap. He will send a great windstorm to turn away all distraction right 
here it is promised. Following a night of much needed slumber, you will be ready to get out and serve him yet again. Immediately upon arrival on the opposite shoreline, a man who was tormented by an unclean spirit came to Jesus and was healed. See Mark 5, both before and after prayer. Remember, peace be still. Sit there quietly and peacefully to allow God to speak. God, God, thank you for protecting me and enabling me to stay calm in the face of scary situations. Thank you for enabling me to dwell in safety. Thank you, Lord, for your word and your promises. Thank you. Now, get lost.